what's going on YouTube world it's your girl Kimberly from KimberlyCaresForYou.com your relationship mediator caregiver life coach mentor and product maker so if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I posted a three-part clip of a particular scene in the show love is blind that is on Netflix um, I chose this particular scene because communication and how you communicate is extremely important when you are interested in someone and when you are in the process of making that someone your wife or your husband. So, because this society and this generation lacks so much communication and lacks the ability to know what the proper communication skills are, that that's why I really picked this video because it needs to be talked about. We need to learn how to properly communicate as human beings. So let's jump right into it. So watch the video if you haven't watched it already. I'll put the link to my Instagram page um, in the description so you can watch that and then come back and watch this video. So let's talk about when should you tell someone in your future about your past? Is it necessary to tell your future partner about your past in general? What's the proper verbiage you should use? How should you tell them your reaction, expressions, and also responses from the individual that you're talking to? So in this particular video, once you watch it, then you'll understand some of the verbiage that I'm going to use right now. So if you have something in your past, that could affect your future. That means something you did yesterday, something you did three years ago, something you did two hours ago that could affect the next 20 minutes, the next five years, or the next 20 years possibly, should you tell your partner? My answer is yes. Once you've opened up a line of communication with an individual that you have interest in and you are serious about this person and you have done something or you were involved in something, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, that could affect, keep in mind what I'm saying, that could affect your current situation, then yes, you should tell that person about whatever that topic is or that subject or whatever your involvement was prior to that person. And the only reason why is because if it is something that could physically, financially, spiritually, or emotionally affect that person, they have the right to know. And if you say that you love them and that you want to protect them and you want to uh, be a support system for them, then yes, you should tell them. So that answers the question of if I should tell someone in my future about something in my past. And I'm using the word past very lightly because a lot of people feel like, well, I did that yesterday or I did that three hours ago or I did that 10 years ago. Well, once again, if it's something that's going to affect your future, the person should know about it. So yes, you should tell them. Um, the other question is, when should you tell a person about your past, or about something you did? You should tell them immediately. The second that you uh, start to get feelings for an individual and you make the determination that you want to move forward with them and you see that they are starting to trust you, that they have interest in you, don't wait until you decide, okay, I'm going to put a ring on this person's finger and now I'm going to tell them. Or don't wait until you've had sex with this person and then you decide, I'll tell them now. No, we're talking about before intercourse. We're talking about before you go out and purchase a ring, engagement ring or a wedding band. We are speaking of doing the normal steps of getting to know a person when you see that the emotions are starting to uh, ignite and that the level of communication is great and you're complimenting one another and you're spending all this time around each other, you haven't had sex yet, you are still just communicating with them, that is when you should tell them. This is the problem that I have with most people. 
One, the lack of communication. Secondly, an individual has the right to make a decision about what they will and will not tolerate. You don't have the right to tell a person, well, I didn't tell you because I knew how you were going to react. We're going to get into the verbiage in a minute. Um, you don't have the right to say that because if it's you bringing something to the table that could affect this person and could affect your relationship, you don't have the right to tell them how they should respond to it because it's their reaction. It's their real time response. So be cautious of when you tell a person something that you don't take the time to realize that their reaction is a legitimate reaction because of who they are, because of how they feel, because they are a human being and, and you may be scared to tell them, well, they're going to be scared to hear it. So you have to know how to approach the conversation. So let's get into the proper verbiage. In this particular video that you watched on my Instagram page, this young man used the verbiage as he was beginning to tell her about the situation. He used verbiage like, oh, well, and, and also after he told her, he said, the look on your face, look at your face. It's like you, he didn't give her time to respond. He immediately started jumping in and having extreme emotions when he was telling her about his past, okay? Whether, again, whether it was an hour ago, two days ago, or 10 years ago. Saying things like, you don't understand, or I knew I shouldn't have said anything to you, or even when the person is, when you're telling a person something and then it's a big deal to you. So yeah, you may be a little bit emotional, but when they jump in as a, some type of support and also to get some type of stability because they're in shock, they need to feel like they have a moment of stability within this conversation. And you start to overtalk them or you can't control your emotions while they're having their reaction to your emotion. That's forcing your emotion on them. That's not giving them a chance to properly react. That's not giving them a chance to comprehend, take in the situation at all. So once again, proper verbiage when communicating something to your present uh, interests is important. Don't use verbiage that automatically makes them formulate a way of thinking. If I'm going to tell you something, the last thing I should say is, oh, see, I knew I shouldn't have told you. Or why are you looking at me that way? Or um, this is why I, I didn't want to tell you. Or, or you know, you're already judging me. I can see it in your eyes. Things like that. Uh, or why are you getting so upset? Because I'm telling you something and this hurts me. And you shouldn't get upset about it. When you start doing that, you're making them automatically put up a wall. You're not, you're not allowing them to have the freedom to express themselves emotionally, nor are you allowing them the ability to communicate. So when you use proper verbiage, verbiage to someone that you are telling about your past, you should say words like, I have something important to tell you. Um, I don't know how you're going to react to it, but I want to go ahead and tell you this. So then you, you tell them whatever it is. Allow them to react, okay? As long as they're not putting hands on you and they're just having a facial expression, no matter what it is, their mouth may drop open, their eyes may get big, they may throw their hands up in shock or in awe because of what you're telling them. They, even, they may even be mad because of something that you're telling them. But give them the right to have their facial and physical expression toward what you said after that remain calm give them time to process what you've told them tell them i'm sorry that i had to tell you this but i'm happy that i told you this because one i'm getting this off my chest and two i want to have an open conversation with you so we continuously always have an open line of communication of trust and security then walk away from the conversation or 
sit there and give them time to take it all in and allow them to respond without you interrupting. Because again, the last thing you want to do is tell someone something that is shocking, surprising, or possibly damaging to them, and then attempt to control their response why, while you are being extremely emotional because of the situation. So I thank you all so much. I hope this helps your relationships. I am a relationship mediator. I am a counselor, a caregiver, and I am here to help all 